Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Cecia? Hi, hi, teacher. Nice to hear that. Nice to hear. I'm checking because uh, there are people sending um, text messages. But I don't know who is this. Ah, okay. Okay, Linda. Good. Hello, Daisy. Welcome to your class. Hello, Luz. Hello, David. Hello. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Did you practice English today in your jobs? So, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, more or less. Okay. We're gonna start because we have a lot of activities for today. And I want you to practice about um, giving dates and so on. I will take the attendance at this moment, even though it is 8.02, but I need to take the attendance on time, okay? I've been told about that. So we want to be responsible and punctual. Okay. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecia Gemima Pérez Videos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. David Alejandro, are you there? Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Okay. okay, no problem, David. Thank you very much for uh, answering, okay, and staying present. Good. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Um, Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Grecia, are you there? Not yet. Um, Juan Diego López Palacios. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Luz Veronica, I'm seeing here some text messages too. Okay, just let me see. Maybe it's Linda, right? Oh, oh okay, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, David. I didn't see your messages. Okay. Luz Veronica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present. Okay, welcome back. We missed you yesterday. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. 
Néstor Ariel Garzona Asensio. Present teacher. Ok. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Roxana Marilyn Pérez Ortiz. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, everyone, we are gonna start the class tonight because um, we are gonna, okay, we are starting unit three tonight. And we want to introduce the whole unit. We want to talk about the objectives and also um, the, the purposes of each content of unit three, okay? So let's start with that. Okay, Grecia, I will check you in uh, right now. And I see Juan Diego over there, right? Juan Diego, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Juan Diego. We missed you. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I can't connect my cam right now. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Okay, what do you have to do? Uh, well, I don't know if it is an external one or if it's uh, an in, internal one. An internal one or an external? This is external. Okay, if it is external, what I do, what I usually do with my camera is to unplug it and then plug it again. And then I go to the video uh, arrow of menu right here in Zoom. And I have to check it. I, I have to select it. Yes, because my problem is because um, I'm installing Ubuntu and and can recognize my camera. Oh, okay, okay. Well, then that's another role, right? Ese es otro rollo. Okay, okay, Juan Diego. I just tried. It's okay. A... Okay. So let me share again here. I have this open for not spending too much time on doing this. Now we go. So yes, we're going to start unit three, right? Let's read this slide. Today is our class 11. Okay, this is the video conference number 11. Yay, we are moving forward. Okay, we are almost there. Uh, and also, you know what? And this unit, uh, it's uh, really funny. I mean, really important for us to learn the grammar, okay? Here we are going to see kind of grammar because there are some new tenses, okay? New tenses, nuevos tiempos de los verbos, ¿verdad? Maybe we know the present continuous, but we are going to use it for, for future events, okay? We are going to use the present continuous, but for future events, scheduled events at the workplace, okay? So what is the topic of unit one? Remember, what is the topic of unit one? What is the topic of unit one? World related event. Event. Excellent. Work related events. What is the topic of unit two? Ongoing activities at the workplace. Thank you very much, Marco. Okay, ongoing activities at the workplace. Um, and now the topic of unit three is scheduled events at the workplace. Scheduled events at the workplace. Yesterday, we were talking about that word, scheduled, scheduled. It means programmed, programmed. They are in an agenda, okay? And it's going to happen in a future time. And some 
time and the future, okay? So we are going to see these topic for tonight. Let's see what is the main goal, the main goal of unit three, okay? We are going, or you are going to, uh, to describe future work events and ongoing activities at the workplace, asking and providing specific information about temporary situations as well. Okay, then what is our main goal of unit three? Uh, describe future work. It means ongoing activities or scheduled activities at the workplace. And also we are going to learn to ask and provide specific information. Okay, so we are going to start um, affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay, in the whole unit, unit three for future events, future. That's the tense that we are going to learn in this unit. And the objective for tonight is that you will be able to talk about activities using the present continuous, using the present continuous, okay? So let me show you then what is the topic. The topic for this class number 11 is present continuous for future events. Okay, what is the topic? Present continuous for future events. Can you tell me what is the topic we are going to study? Present continuous for the future events. Thank you very much. And the agenda for tonight is this one. First of all, we are going to have a feedback, okay? It's not so short because I want to, I mean, I want to make sure that you uh, get all the information I already taught you, okay? Yo necesito ver que sí esté eh, aprendido todo lo que ya vimos, okay? Entonces, nuestro feedback, our feedback va a ser questions and answers, okay? Questions and answers. And then we are going to learn about the present continuous. Then we are going to go to the breakout rooms rooms to talk about future events and the session one on one for tonight is for uh it not it is not for Juan Diego Juan Diego was yesterday right uh let's let me check check back okay yes, who's next excuse me can you repeat please Yes, teacher. Yesterday, um, how would you say? Falte? Oh yeah, I missed the class. I no, skipped the class, class or, or I missed the class. Okay. <laughs> yes, and we missed you a lot yesterday. Okay, so uh, just let me check out who is next in the list. Okay. Mientras tanto, vamos a ver esto. Okay, este sería nuestro feedback. This is our feedback. Este cuadro últimamente se mueve mucho, por más que se los pongo fijo para que caigan todos los slides y me toca estarlo ubicando en todo, pero ahí vamos. Ok. We have some questions here. Tenemos algunas preguntas. Ok. Read these questions like this. Así, someramente, rápido, por aquí, por allá. Mm -hmm. Ok, now. Vamos a hacer una cosa antes de la otra. <ríe> este, vamos a usar Google, ok. Vamos a usar Google ahorita. 
we are going to Google some information. And you are going to give the answers when you find out in Google, when you look, look the information up, okay? Voy a decirles qué preguntas, okay? Son las que van a buscar en Google. This one, this one, this one, and this one. You can use, uh, you can look it up, this one, and this one, and this one, okay? Information from Google, okay? If you know the answer is okay. Si ya la sabe, perfecto. Pero si no conoce cuál es la respuesta, let's Google it, okay? Let's Google each answer. Bien. Cuando ya tengan esas respuestas, okay? Lo que vamos a hacer es que usted empieza a preguntarle a su compañero y su compañero tiene que contestar, ¿ok? Así que ahorita nos vamos a ir al breakout room para hacer estas preguntas. Las voy a leer ahorita una por una. Si hay alguna duda en alguna, de una vez me dicen, ¿ok? The first one. What date is it today? When's your birthday? When do you have to attend an important meeting? How old are you? How old is your best friend? How old is your boss? What's your company's contact phone number? What's Banco Agricola customer service phone number? What's Pizza Hut delivery phone number? What's your email address? How much is the bus ride in San Salvador? How much is a tortilla? How much do they charge for a Dewey? Okay. Do you have any question about this? The vocabulary in these questions? Tienen alguna pregunta? Sí, hay unas cosas que las vamos a tener que investigar porque no tenemos. Eh... Of course. Of course. Eso es lo que les decía yo al principio, Néstor. You have to Google the answers. Okay. You have to use Google to find out the information. For example, the, the, the bank, Agricola and Pizza. Correct. Por eso and... les decía yo, Néstor, por eso les digo yo, primero van a ubicar las respuestas y después se las preguntan, ¿ok? Ok. <clears throat> ¿Dónde van a encontrar la información? En Google. Ok, you may go to Google and Google the information, ¿ok? Are we okay? Okay, teacher. Everybody agrees? A ver, ¿se entendió qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes, no sir. entendí muy bien, teacher. Buscar teacher, la información, sorry. contestar esas preguntas con la información que van a buscar en Google. Y luego le va a hacer la pregunta a su compañero y su compañero le responde, ¿ok? Pregunta, respuesta, pregunta, respuesta, ¿ok? ¿Hoy sí? Ok. La información y la forma de contestar la tienen en sus notas, ¿ok? Así que vamos entonces a este feedback. Este es un repaso de lo que hemos estado viendo en Unit 2, ¿ok? Bien. Hoy... Uh, que a los grupos. Ok, vamos a ver, solo tengo a Linda que me avisó porque tiene una situación. Linda, are you okay? Are you going to participate? Linda, are you there? Hey, no, teacher, no me podía conectar, hay mil disculpas. Pero ya, ok, ya me Mayra, welcome. Welcome to your class. Ok, es que fíjense que cuando hay situaciones eh, de oyentes, sí genera, genera problemas para sus compañeros para que puedan hacer la actividad. Todos se han enfrentado a esa situación, ¿verdad? Que cuando yo los mando, está ocupado o tiene alguna situación. Muchas veces ya me han informado, pero aún así eh, tenemos que desarrollar la clase. ¿Me entienden? Eh, pues es una clase presencial. Entonces... Um, Lo que necesito yo es ver uh, how many people are available, okay? 
para no incomodar también a los que sí han, están presentes, right? So let's see. Going to do this, maybe I can see. I have 14, so I have to create. Okay, los voy a dejar quizás. Oh. Es que se me da la situación y quiero solventarla antes de que lleguemos a la sala, si no puedan realizar la actividad. Vamos a ver. Okay, I'm going to do it manually. Okay, there it goes. And then goes David and tell me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I have to do this, okay? I'm ready to go the group. David, okay. Okay, yes, David. Yes. Okay, yes, I assigned you already. You were going to work with Delmi, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to, to do it well. And the last one will be. Okay. Uh, solo quiero saber, Linda está ahí, Linda. Okay, perfect. Are you going to work via chat? Okay. Okay, then. Entonces voy a dejar Grecia y Linda, you are going to work through the chat, okay? You both are going to work through the chat. Let me. Sorry, but I have to do this well. Por amor a todos, quiero hacerlo bien para que todos puedan participar de la actividad. Okay, here we go. I hope everything is okay. There we go. Alba, ¿recibió la invitación? Alba, did you receive the invitation to join? I was assigned to this room and I don't know why she couldn't, uh, she couldn't do it. Uh, let's send a message. I cannot send it from here because we are. Lo voy a tirar para todos.
to the room. This was uh, room one, right? One. Yes. La asigné con usted, pero no sé por qué ella no ha entrado. Déjeme ir al main room porque ahí veo que está ella. Ok, okay teacher. Ok. Ah, oh, se desconectó. Ok, A ahora la envío de regreso. Ok. Ok, ya le... There you are. Here she is. Good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for your patience. Hello, Alba. Tiene que activar el, el micrófono. Uh -huh. No me llevó a la, a, la, a la sala que me tocaba, a la uno me aparecía y le di, y luego me sacó de la sala, y luego me mandó a otra, y luego me sacó de, de Zoom. Oh, this, it's kind of crazy, this thing. Yeah. Okay, here we were waiting, we were waiting for you. So now you may start, you may start with the activity. Okay. 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 Tiene la, la, la imagen de las preguntas. Sí. A ver. Este, si quiere la, la puedo proyectar. Sí, está bien. Creo que ya aparece, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí está. Vale. Ok. Empiezo, comienzo. Eh, eh, sí, solo que las otras este, las vamos a buscar, ¿verdad? Ajá, solo que, que es, creo que sería la de... No me fijé cuál le señaló la teacher. Pero son las de los números, ¿verdad? De teléfono. Yes, okay. yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Eh, bueno, eh, las primeras son generales, creo que sí las podríamos decir. Bueno, si gusta, comienzo yo preguntando. Ok, ok. Eh, what date is it today? Uh, today is October 14, 2021. Okay. When's your birthday? My birthday is 4th August. August 4th. Uh, okay. August uh, my, the 4th. Uh -huh. My birthday is August the fourth. Fourth. Okay. When do you have to attend an important meeting? I have to attend important meetings in uh, Friday. Okay. Uh, every Friday. Todos los viernes. Okay. Every Friday. Every uh -huh. Friday. But in Every this Friday. case, you can say, for example, when do you have to attend an, an important meeting? An important meeting. So you can say next Friday, right? And, or you can say the date. Friday, October the uh, 15th of 2021. Okay. 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 This is just to practice the date, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, how old are you? I'm 38 years old. Uh, how old is your best friend? Uh, my best friend. Uh,
Hello, teacher. We Hello, how is it going? Writing. We writing the answer and then we share with Delmi. Okay, but uh, you have to look at only this information about the contact phone numbers. For example, the company's contact phone number, the Banco Agricola customer service, pero las demás si se las pueden, okay? You, you can just say, la idea is to talk, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Sure. No. Yeah. <laughs> Por ya. Voy por las últimas, the last three, the last third. No, ¿cómo sería? Sí. The last, the last one. third. Hello, how is it going, guys? Hello. Sure. Pues ahorita estábamos eh, preparando las preguntas para después <laughs> resolverlas y, y, y hacer la interacción. Okay, and remember the the idea here is to talk, okay? The most important part is speaking. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, teacher. I have a question. Hello, tell me. Um, para decir la dirección del correo electrónico, para decir arroba, at. ¿cómo se dice? At. 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 Mm -hmm. at. Así como se oye, at. 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 Correct. How do you say arroba, teacher? Arroba. At. Thank Soldiers. Yeah. Y la quiero ver. 14. 21 years old. 
Sixteen, vamos, vamos. Six, vamos por las seis. Sería. Eh, how old eh, is your boss? Ah, ¿cuántos años tiene el jefe? La edad del jefe, entonces, how old. Él eh, tiene la misma edad que yo, usted. Salimos Sería juntos del. Es. Si es mujer, <risa> le vamos a poner. Sí. Es hombre. Ah, pues Sería entonces, he has, vea. Yeah. He has. He has um, la edad. Bueno. Eight months. Eight. Hello, how's it going? Hola, teacher. Here I am. Okay, the answer is he is. Okay, he, he is. Uh, he is. Yes, because you say, you use the to be verb to answer this question. Okay, because they are asking how. Es que lo estamos poniendo como él tiene. Oh no, no, that's not correct. It will be correct if you say he is, she Entonces, is. Okay. For example, you could say, my um, boss is, okay, my best friend is, mm. o puede decir, she or he is. Bien, solo él, él tiene eh, 20 tan year old. Yes. Mm. yes. Pero queremos decir, my boss is, así. Correct. Okay. Ah, de las dos formas. Okay. Yes, you can use my boss or, or you can use a pronoun. You could say, if it is a he, then he is. Or if it is a she, then you say she is. Right? Okay. Gracias. Sería my boss is 30 years old. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, la siete. Sería, what, what's your company contact phone number? Y ahí decimos el número correcto, teacher, o inventamos. Creo que inventamos. Entonces, se, se, creo que es con it. It's yes. Y decimos el nombre. El número. The, the number, it, yes. It, Remember, it's. Uh -huh. And remember that we are asking for the contact phone number, okay? Not a mm -hmm. private phone number. It's a contact phone number where everybody can call, okay? Es el número de un contacto, ¿verdad? Algo así. Es o sea, el, el número, número de, la, de la compañía. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mario. Contact phone Vaya, no. sería entonces it's it y it's ahí decimos uh, 26 a 0 pero la decimos uh -huh. de número uno por uno o serían de dos en dos por ejemplo ah sí como one by one ponemos one, one by one, one. one. yes one Entonces, uno, uno, entonces. Oh my god. Sería 25. It's. It's 25. 55. Five, five, y luego. One, one. Y luego pongamos four, four. Mm, sería. Two, five, five, five. One, 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 four, four. No sé si le parece eso. Ok. I have a uh, important meeting on the next Saturday. Mm, how old are you? Repeat, please. How old are you?
29 years old. Okay. How old is your best friend? My best friend has 28 years old. Okay. How old is your boss? My boss have 61 years old. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, to answer that question, just let me show you because we don't use have, okay? En, para decir la edad de alguien, usamos el to be. Miren cómo es la pregunta. How old is your best friend? If your best friend is a man, you can say he is, as we say, I am, right? So you're, you can use, if it is a he, then he is, or if it is a she, she is, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher, okay. How old is your boss? He is 61 years old. Correct. Okay. What is your company contact phone number? The, con the contact, the company contact phone number is 2207 50. Eh, teacher, y aquí cuando son dos ceros seguidos, esa parte si no, o es five thousand. No, you could use OO, okay? You could say double O, you could say also zero, zero. Puede usar O o puede usar zero. Okay. Okay, okay. Otra pregunta el, para el... Para decirlo de la rayita del número, cuando se para cuatro números, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, dash. Dash. Ok. But it's not necessary to say dash. Ok. It's not necessary, but dash es guión. Ok. Ah, ok. ¿Me pueden decir entonces todos los números de una sola vez? Yes, and you have to tell them uh, one by one. Ok. One by one. No es por cifras, sino que uno por uno. Exactly, it's one by one, correct. Y okay. arroba, ya que estamos en preguntas, ¿cómo se dice? At, at. At. Ok. What, what's Banco Agrícola Customer Service phone number? Ese estaba contestándola. Solo la busqué, pero no, como no vi toda la pregunta. Vaya. The, the number. Repeat, please, the question. Ok. What is Banco Agrícola Customer Service phone number? Ok. The customer service phone is two two one zero 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 zero. Okay, ese tengo yo también. Okay. What, what is Pizza Hut delivery phone number? Eh, esta no la tuve que buscar. <laughs> the Pizza Hut delivery phone number is 2257-7777. Like the song. 2257-7777. Okay. What is your email address? My... Email address is davidchoto at gmail.com.
Okay. How much is the bus ride in San Salvador? Okay, this I don't answer yet, but but I don't understand the question. Eh, eh, como que, como el pasaje, teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, it's one quarter of the ride. The bus ride it's one quarter. I think. Okay. And how much is a tortilla? It's for it for a quarter. E how much do they charge for a doing? Teacher, esa pregunta no la entiendo muy bien. ¿Qué quiere decir? How much is? Uh, which which question? Repeat the question, please. How much do they charge for a DUI? Uh -huh. How much do they charge for a DUI? Cuánto vale el DUI? Mm, the DUI is ten dollars, and I don't know. Google it. Okay. Yeah, it, it's not going to get here, but now. The first time is free. Okay, uh, you have like the reposition and also you have the, uh, I mean, the replacement or uh, the first time, right? Mm -hmm. First time is for free. But how much do you pay to get your Dewey? I find the Dewey is the price uh, is ten dollars and thirty one cents. Okay, let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, everyone. Oh, I see no, not everybody is here. Here we are. Okay, those who can turn on your cameras, please do. Please do it because we want to interact with these questions and answers. This, these are very common questions in our life. Every time they are asking this or you are asking for this information. Okay, estas son preguntas bastante básicas 
que en cualquier conversación inicial podrían preguntar ustedes o a ustedes les podrían preguntar. Ok, so what date is it today? Let's see, Luz, what date is it, what date is it today? Today is Thursday 14th of October 2021. Okay, uh, let's remember the formula in American English. Can you say what date is it today, Alba? First, the month, then the date, and um, then the year, if we want to say the year. But usually we don't say the year. We, we just say October the 14th, okay? It's October the 14th. We could say also, today is October the 14th. Okay, so now let's listen to Mayra. What date, what date is it today, Mayra? Perdón, no me escuchó, ¿verdad? Ahora sí. Hola. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Sí, se escucha. Yeah. It's October 14th of 2021. Excellent. Excellent, Mayra. Ok. This was the first one. Ok. Ahora, lo que vamos a hacer de, para hacer la dinámica de estas preguntas y vamos a ir así. Uh, la idea de esta actividad no era escribir. Ok, la idea de esta actividad era hablar. Ok, entonces eh, como en los breakout rooms estuvieron en la, eh, consiguiendo la información, entonces ahorita vamos a hacer el speaking. Ok, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Como ya todos tienen sus respuestas. For example, um, Alba, Alba, que la tengo right here. Um, Usted hace la primera pregunta, escoge a su compañero, luego ese compañero que contestó, escoge otro compañero y así en cadenita vamos a ir preguntando. Al llegar al final de las preguntas, al, perdón, si ya pasaron todos, entonces seguimos en ronda, ¿ok? Ok, there we go. Alba, you may start, please. Ok, teacher. Voy, voy, es que... Las tengo acá en la captura. Las pregunto. Ok. Uh, when your birthday um, tell me? My birthday is October 4th. The 4th? October the 4th? Yes. Happy birthday, tell me. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, Thank great. You. So, yeah, because we were not in class yet. I, I don't remember if we were in class, but uh, okay, happy birthday. Thank you, teacher. Okay. When do you have to attend an important meeting, David? I have an important meeting the next Saturday. Next question is, how old are you? How old are you? Let me see. 
How old are you, Cecia? I'm 38 years old. Um, how much is the bus ride in San Salvador, Daisy? Teacher, no sé cómo contestar. <risa> Acuérdense, uh, one second. Acuérdense que cuando decimos el precio de algo, ok, hablamos de dinero, ¿verdad? Eso lo vimos en la unidad 1. Ok, so, and we say um, it's, y decimos el precio, right? It's, uh, if you say 35 cents, the special bus, right? Or the special ride, or you can say, it depends on the class, okay? So you say that the price it's and then the price and money. Okay, as the price is 20 cents. Okay, it's, oh, sorry. Again, the same problem with my thing. It's 20 cents. 20 cents. Okay, there you are. Now, Daisy, continue with the questions. Okay. How old is your bus? Roxana? Okay. Um, my boss is 30 years old. Correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, what, what's your company contact phone number, um, Diego? What's your company contact phone number? Juan Diego? <laughs> Juan Diego, are you there? O si no, uh, Luz Verónica. Ok, Luz. Sorry, teacher. I crashed my cell phone. I I'm sorry? Sorry, then crashed my cell phone. So... Oh, ok, ok. But now, are you ready to answer that question? Do you want yes. to answer? Yes, just can repeat. Okay, go ahead, tell me again. Ah, I'm sorry, Roxana. Yes, um, what is your company contact phone number? Oh, my contact company number is, is 2245, uh, zero, how, how say, Four zeros seguido. Zero, 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 zero. Or you can say yes. double O uh, or and double O again, okay? O, double O. Yeah, oh, you can okay. say also, uh, pero el asunto es que cuando en inglés nosotros decimos un número de teléfono, lo decimos número por número, okay? En los números de teléfono podemos usar el cero como O o lo podemos usar como zero. En mi uso, ok, yo prefiero usar el zero at the end, at the end. And in the middle, in the middle, I use the O, ok, the O sound. So I could say two, two, four, five and four zeros. <laughs> I could say that, ok, and four zeros. Okay. 
but I can say also two two four five zero 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 zero. Ah, okay. 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 Continue. Juan Diego, ask a question. Um, ya habíamos escogido a Luz, ¿verdad? Luz okay. is going to answer. I choose, let me see. Uh, perdón, Juan Diego, Roxana había escogido a Luz ya. Entonces usted hágale la pregunta a Luz. A Luz, ok. Ok. Um, what's... No, when do you have to attend an important meeting? I attend an important meeting next month on November 10. I have to. Acuérdense que usamos la misma información. I have to attend a meeting. ¿Cuándo dijo eh, Luz? On... Friday. Uh -huh. Ajá. Dije next month. Oh, November 10th. Okay. So, remember that when we say at the month, okay, we say in. In November. Ten. The tenth. Okay, great. You gotta say tenth. The tenth. In November the tenth. Great. Así sería. Mírenlos completo y todos. Cuando vamos a contestar una pregunta como esta, tenemos que hacer una oración. Una oración completa, ok? Con un sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Dando la información que nos requiere. I have to attend a meeting in November the 10th. Okay? okay. All right. There you go. Thank you very much, Luz. Continue, Luz, with the questions. Choose a classmate. Uh, para, para Mayra, Yanira. Uh, how much do they charge for a doing? Repeat, please. How much do they charge for a doing? Creo que es el costo del doing, vea. Si no me equivoco. Yes, it is. Um, esa no la había contestado <risa> pero vamos a hacer un intento ok eh, sería it's eh, 10 29 cent dollar 10 29 Ah, one. Ah, 30, ajá, 39 de ok, they charge. Tienen que contestarlo con la misma ah, información exacto, que le hace exacto. la pregunta, ok? okay. They, they charge, charge change one cent dollar. Ok, acordémonos cómo decimos el dinero, chicos. Vamos a ver quién le ayuda a ver cómo se dice el dinero. Money. Yeah, I know that the word is money, but ¿cómo leemos la cantidad de dinero? <laughs> Cuando leemos okay. dinero ahí. Mm -hmm, dollar 31 cents. Correct. They charge $10 and 31 cents. They charge $10 and 31 cents. Okay. They charge, they charge ten dollars and and thirty one cents. Thirty one cents. Correct. Ah, okay. correct. Porque son cent es, es entero y, y centavos. Por exactly. Así. Exactly. Okay. Yes. The in the whole Thank part you. is ten dollars, and then you have the cents, right, or the decimal part. It will be thirty one. Cent. Y este punto decimal lo decimos como end, 
Okay. So ten dollars uh, okay. and thirty one cents. Correct. Okay. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. Eh, there you go. Cadena, yes, and you will be with uh, the last one. Okay, you will be the last one because we have to cover the next topic. Okay. Go ahead, Mayra. Okay. Sería uh, how all is your best friends? Eh, quiero ver que no les han preguntado, pero quiero ver para no repetirles. Sería Néstor. Ok, Néstor. Ok. Ok. Te lo repito. Yes, how please, man. old is your best friend? Oh, ok. Um, my best friend is 40 years old. Great. My yes. best friend is 30, okay? Years old. Yes. Okay. Um, también podemos quitar years old at the end. Podemos decirlo solo is 30, okay? Y Como ya me preguntó de la edad, ya sabemos que me refiero a la edad, ¿ok? Uh, but now there is a question. Néstor, okay. ¿is your best friend a woman or is your best friend a man? A man. Ok, then. Si no usáramos my best friend, en este caso podríamos contestar como he is 30 years old, ¿ok? Ok. Correct. Everyone. You got it? Okay, oh, teacher. Get it. Okay. Okay, guys, let's, let's continue. Bien. Esto, esto que hemos hecho el día de hoy es basado en su mapita, ok? En su mapa de la página eh, 6 y 7 de su manual. Ahí está qué vocabulario ustedes deben manejar hasta este momento. Ok, esta información ya la enseñamos en unidad 1 y en unidad 2. Ok, entonces, revisando en su mapita, en la página 6 y la 7, ahí está la información que deben manejar. Y les sugiero que hagan lo mismo en las siguientes, ¿verdad? En las siguientes unidades que serían 3 y 4. Revisen el mapa para ver si están eh, llegando al... Um, Al objetivo, ¿verdad? Now just let me go to this other part. I'm going to stop sharing and let's go to the manual. In our manuals, in page 29 is the first uh, page of unit three. You have in the 29, the, pay, the first page of unit three. Let's go over there, okay? Let's go over there and let's uh, see there we have a conversation. We want to practice that conversation and um, I want you to notice how do they use the vocabulary in bold, okay? En su trabajo, eh, me supongo que planean las, las actividades, tienen metas a, a así como a un tiempo eh, programado, ¿verdad? Do you have scheduled events and activities in your jobs? Do you have scheduled activities in your jobs? Do you have? ¿Tienen ustedes actividades programadas en su trabajo? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, I do, right? Because the question is, do you have? Then, yes, I do. Okay. Now, let's practice this conversation and let's see what activities they have scheduled, okay? So, let's see. Peter and Henry are talking. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, 
Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting the Hector uh, with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee about it. Again, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee about it. Okay. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, okay? E, uh, and please read this conversation, okay? En 30 segundos todos leyendo la conversación. Everybody reading the conversation. I want to see you moving your lips. Hello, Henry. I can read, teacher. Yes, but please, uh, right now, everybody is reading. Okay, David? Okay, now I want you to notice the words in bold, okay? Las palabras en negrita, the words in bold. Let's read them. Is attending the conference. Is attending. I'm presenting. I'm informing. Okay. En este caso, si ustedes se fijan en esta conversación, ellos están hablando de eventos que van a suceder en un futuro cercano, ¿verdad? So, please, let's read it again. Let's read it again, and then we are going to role play. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Bien. Vamos a hacer el role play de la conversación, pero por favor, vamos a respetar la entonación, entonation. Donde vemos que es pregunta, hacemos de pregunta. Donde vemos que es de admiración, okay, we are going to Express it excited, okay? The emotion or rather, okay? Vamos a hacerlo con entonación. The exclamation marks, also, please respect all, respect all the uh, punctuations. So let's hear, let's listen to Roxana. And is Marco there? Marco, are you there? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, then, with, with Roxana. Con entonación, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. mm, I am... Okay. Yeah. Or Henry? Yes, go ahead, Roxana. Peter. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the jury conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but it's Julie is attending. Voice delivery, del delivery. Delivering, delivering. Delivering, okay. Voice delivering. The representation for the sale next week. The Guess CEO, that. I'm sorry. It says the CEO next week, okay? For the CEO next week. With what? I'm I presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the com ese sí no sé the committee committee the committee the committee uh -huh. about yes the committee about it okay great so now we want to listen to Linda and Alba please okay soy Peter Yes, please. Hello, Harry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the representation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great. So I am informing the com Committee, committee. Committee about it. Okay, great, great. So now we want to listen to Nestor and Luz. Nestor, Peter, Luz, Henry. Okay, teacher. Uh, hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in, in the yearly conference? Hey Peter, well, Maria is, but July is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if Yuli is attending, who is delivering the presentation for, for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector the new accountant. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee about it. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, David and Cecia. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Peter. Go ahead. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I'm presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I informed the committee about it. 
Okay, good, good. What do you notice here when we use is and then we have these verbs with a difference, right? Hemos aprendido hasta este momento attend a conference, okay? Como el nombre de la actividad, o sea, es, estamos describiendo la actividad attend a conference, okay? Uh, decimos también present uh, present the or deliver the presentations, ¿sí? Hemos aprendido nada más a usarlo en el tiempo presente ¿Qué sucede todos los días como un hábito o qué sucede hoy? ¿Verdad? Bien, ahora tenemos el presente continuo. Present continuous. Present continuous is formed by the verb to be and a verb in the ing form. Terminan con ing. ¿Ok? Vamos a ir y ver acá cómo se compone el presente continuo. Ok, lo vamos a visualizar. Just visualizing, ok. To have like an illustration. So let's go and check this. Because we use the verb to be in the present continuous. And we use present continuous to talk about things that are going to happen in a future, in a near future, certain near future. Entonces, usamos el presente continuo en um, una forma de futuro, ¿ok? Tiene otros usos. El uso más común que tiene es que expresa cuando estamos realizando las cosas en el mismo momento que estamos hablando. For example, I am teaching now. Okay, I am teaching. You are studying. You are learning. Ese es el uso más eh, importante, por decir así, o el uso para lo que está creado el presente continuo, para expresar las cosas que están sucediendo al momento que yo estoy hablando. Right in the moment that I am talking or speaking, I am doing those things or the things are happening. ¿Cómo se compone? Una oración normal, ¿verdad? Una oración normal empieza with a pronoun or a subject, right? So I is a subject. Then I add the verb to be. Acordémonos que el verbo to be tiene diferentes formas, ¿verdad? Tiene am, are, and is. ¿Correcto? Entonces, el verbo to be conjugado. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. ¿Correcto? Do you remember that? ¿Estamos correctos hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, teacher. then. Para que esto sea, o esto exprese algo que estoy haciendo en el momento, o algo que va a suceder en el futuro, que voy a hacer en un futuro cercano, al verbo yo le agrego ing. Ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, I am teaching. You are learning. He is reading. She is writing. It is raining. We are paying attention. They are sleeping. Okay, so let's see. Um, I want to hear Linda, please. Can you read the first one? I am teaching. Thank you. Now, next one, please, Daisy. You are learning. Correct. Uh, David, next one.
Sorry, this, uh, he is reading. Thank you. Now, Alba, please, next one. She is writing. Okay. Next one, please, uh, Cecia. It is raining. Correct. Luz, next one. We are paying attention. Okay, paying, paying attention. Now let's see. Roxana, next one. They are sleeping. Okay, thank you very much. Now, what do you see in this picture? What is this person doing? What is this person doing? Hi. This one. He's calling. Call. Okay. Speaking. Calling. Okay. ¿Cómo conocemos las actividades? Eh, ¿Cómo las hemos aprendido? Vamos a ver. He is making a call. Okay. He is calling. Okay. A ver, ¿qué otra se les ocurre? Puede ser que esté contestando, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo diríamos eso? He's answering. Correct. Answering the phone. Okay. Excellent. So, next one. What do you see here? What do you think uh, someone can be doing? I am sending email. Excellent. Okay, great. What about the next one? He is checking email. Great. Okay, great. Ahora veamos con esta. With this one. What do you think someone is doing? It's a printer. Printing. Okay. Uh -huh. You are printing the report? Excellent. Excellent. This is good. More than good. Okay, this is the best thing you have done. So look, look at this. Estamos diciendo cosas que están sucediendo al momento que hablamos, ¿verdad? Pero ¿cómo entonces vamos a diferenciar cuando estamos hablando de algo a futuro? Then we use, así como eh, cuando estamos usando el presente simple, ¿verdad? Y al final le ponemos Cuando lo estamos realizando with a time expression, nos ubica en el tiempo, ¿verdad? Con una expresión de tiempo. So let's look at this one. In this case, okay, in this case, when we want to say or express that someone is doing something later, okay, then we use these future expressions, okay? So for example, we could say, he is making a call. Sorry. One second. Mm -hmm. He is making a call. Y le podemos agregar una de las expresiones que nos colocan o nos ubican en el tiempo futuro. Let's see these expressions. We have tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, next week, next month, next Monday, next weekend, in an hour, later this evening, or later this morning, right? Or just soon, okay? So for example, 
we could say he is making a call tomorrow. Aquí ya la idea es que él no la está haciendo ahorita, ¿ok? Sino que con esta expresión a futuro estamos diciendo que lo va a hacer, ¿ok? All right. Now, what do we have to be sure when we express or when we use the present continuous for future expressions? Lo que debemos estar seguros para usar el presente continuo con expresiones a futuro es que sí se van a realizar, que son eh, casi que un, una probabilidad muy alta de que se va a hacer o con certeza se va a realizar esa, eh, esa actividad. Ok, let's see, for example, he is calling, digamos, una expresión a futuro cuando podría llamar. Next week. Excellent. He is calling next week. Okay. Y si le agregamos algo más específico, he is calling clients next week. Okay. We are being more specific. So now let's see. And the next one, he is answering the phone. In a certain future, what expression can we use? In a uh, hour. Excellent. Excellent. So now let's see, for example, I'm sending emails. Aha, uh -huh. when? In the, uh, in the near future, when? The day after tomorrow. Excellent. The day after tomorrow. Para los que no conocen esta expresión, eso significa pasado mañana. Ok. Yeah. Tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow. Ok. ¿Y cómo sería entonces, digamos, para pasado? Vaya, veamos, aquí tenemos after, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo sería si decimos yesterday, por ejemplo? Eh, este es solo es cultura general. Yesterday, ¿cómo sería? Algo que no existe, pero anteayer. ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir si pasado mañana es after tomorrow? Anteayer, ¿cómo sería? Day before. Day before. Day. Before. before. Excellent, yesterday. excellent. And this is after because it's going to be the day after tomorrow, past tomorrow, then the next day. And the other is before tomorrow, right? Before tomorrow. Ese sería anteayer, the day before tomorrow. Okay. It's not, it's not yesterday. I'm sorry, yesterday. Yes, you're right. Está kind of crazy your teacher right now yesterday thank yeah. you the day the day before, before tomorrow yes. is today yes of course it is you're right <laughs> great what teacher what about day after day day after day means every day right day after day after day yeah continuously okay 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 mm -hmm. Correct. So uh, there is no day that that thing doesn't happen. Okay. So then is when you use the day after day after day. I think about you, for example. Right? Okay. Or, yeah. Okay, guys. Let's continue here. Let's continue. Uh, we are going to see in this exercise. Okay. It says complete the sentences. Use the given information. What information we are going to use? This information. Let's read the verbs. Hiring, offering, sending, celebrating, attending, resting, having. A ver, digamos, ¿cuál es el infinitivo de este verbo, del primer verbo? ¿De qué verbo viene hiring? 
Uh -huh. Del verbo hire. hire. Excellent. Hire. Contratar. Ok. Yes. Hire. Yes. Hire. Give someone a job. Ok. Hire. Yes. yes. What is the verb uh, from the one, I mean, from offering comes from? Offer. Often. Offer. Correct. Ok. Now, what about the next one? Sending? Send. Send. Excellent. Celebrating? Celebrate. Celebrate. Excellent. Uh-huh. And what about attending? Attend. Attend. Excellent. And the next one, resting? Rest. Rest. Correct. And having? Have. 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 Ok, aquí podemos ver algo bien importante para comenzar. Miren, cuando nosotros le agregamos ING para la forma de escritura, nos fijamos con qué letra termina ese verbo, ok. Eso grabémonos. Si termina en una E, por ejemplo, you drop letter E, la quita la letra E y le agrega la ING, ok. For example here, higher, higher. Higher. Entonces termina con una E, ¿verdad? Entonces le quitamos la E y le agregamos ING. ¿Ok? Ok. Por ejemplo, have. Have termina en una E. It ends in letter E, right? So we drop letter E and add ING. Correct? And also celebrate. Celebrate is the same thing here, right? Correct. We drop letter E and add ing, correct? Yes. Now, after this explanation, let's go and check what is the correct form of, to be in the form of the verb ing, okay, for these sentences. Number one, it says, I, mm -hmm, I'm English class right now, okay? I, mm -hmm, an English class right now. ¿Cuál de I todas estas? Okay. Having. Okay, let me select these things. Okay, I'm having. Excellent. Here we go. Next one, number two. The manager's assistant, mm -hmm, an invitation email next Monday. Sending, it's sending. Okay, let's see. A ver, eh, leamos, let's read number two. Cecia, please. Uh, read, teacher. Yes, please. Okay. The manager's assistant is sending an invitation email next Monday. Excellent. I'm going to read number three and think what is going uh, in the space. Your boss, mm -hmm. I'm meeting in an hour. He's attending. <clears throat> okay, let's see. It was Marco, right? Marco? Yes, yes. Okay, can you please read number three, Marco? Okay, your boss is attending a meeting in a hour. Excellent, thank you very much. Number four, all employees mm -hmm, next Monday. Hiring. Let's see. All, all employees is hiring. Are rest, resting. Okay, I, I was just going to explain, David and Nestor. Uh, David. Como es un plural, necesitamos un, una forma plural del to be, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces no puede ser is. ¿Correcto? Ok. Ok. Entonces, ¿cuál? Are resting. 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 Correct. There you go. Are resting. Uh -huh. Next Monday. Can you please read it, David? Number four. Employers are resting next Monday. 
Excellent. Number five, the company mm -hmm, special discounts next weekend. It's all celebrating. Okay, the, the, uh -huh. the company is singular, so we look up into the ones who has is, who have is, right? So it's is offering. offering, okay. The company is offering special discount and discount next weekend. Okay, and we have two more, okay. Number six, the HR department, mm -hmm, new personnel next week. It's hiring. It's hiring. Good. What about number seven? Our celebration. Our celebration. Our celebration. Okay. Our celebrating. Our celebrating. Okay. Now, let's see. Tell me, please read number six. And the HR department is hiring new personnel next week. Okay. And number seven, Mayra, please. With are celebrant, celebrant? celebrating. 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 Mm -hmm. Celebrating. We are celebrating uh, the employers, employees, but die later this evening. Okay. Can you please read number seven also, Linda, please? We are celebrating employees' birthday later this evening. Thank you very much. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this activity? Not sure. Not sure. Are we okay so far? Yes, okay. we're so far. Yes. Okay, just let me go here. I will stop sharing. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, anteriormente había dicho de que si termina en E, se cambia la E por ING, ¿verdad? Ajá, la quita. Y si termina, la en, y si termina en, en Y, se cambia la Y por I latina también, como en los otros casos. No, en este caso no. No hemos visto ese verbo ni la forma de escritura que la vamos a continuar viendo. Lo único que, eh, para contestar su pregunta, la Y no se cambia en este caso. Se deja la Y y se le agrega la ING. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, uh, okay, study, okay, studying. ¿Ok? Con la Y siempre ahí. Ok, sí. Ok. Now let's go to our manuals because we have only 45 minutes. 45. Uh, it's 9.45, so we have only 15 minutes to uh, finish the class. Okay, and let's go back to the conversation. In the conversation, how do we know? How do we know that they are talking about future events? How do we know? Because they're using future expressions. Correct. They are using future time expressions, correct. And let's see the future time expressions, okay? Let's see, we have uh, this year, okay? This year, todavía falta, ¿verdad? Para el momento, pero va a ser en este año más adelante, okay? This year, okay? Next week, Next week. excellent. So, um, and for example, if you don't have any future expressions at the end, okay, to have an idea, absolutamente, por ejemplo, de acuerdo al contexto, ustedes entenderán. Si, uh, para entender esto, veamos las últimas dos expresiones acá. Okay, dice, guess what? I am, I am presenting with Hector. Estaban hablando de algo, ¿verdad? ¿De qué estaban hablando? De delivering the presentations, ¿ok? Según el contexto que traemos, we are talking about something 
in the future. Okay? Are we okay with this? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go here and let's complete these sentences. Okay, now we know that we use the to be verb and also uh, the ing form of the verb. So let's complete this uh, these sentences. Okay, uh, let's read the instruction. It says, complete the following sentences, use the conversation above to help you. So number one, who wants to answer number one? She is presenting. Okay. She is presenting with the new employee. Okay, good. ING, right? Okay. What about number two? What is the answer for number two? I am informing. Correct. <coughs> Excellent. Okay, volvemos al punto que hemos estado viendo. ¿Cómo hacemos una oración afirmativa en el presente continuo? How do we uh, structure a sentence or affirmative sentence in the present continuum. Okay, we uh, use a pronoun or a subject. Okay, it says he, then the to be verb is, then the verb with the ing form presenting, and then the complement. Okay, he is presenting with the new employee. Next one is the same thing. You see, subject I. To be verb M, informing the committee about that. Informing, you see, ING verb form, correct? So let's read over here. Let's read what I already said. Leamos lo que yo ya he explicado, okay? Uh, please, uh, Roxana. Roxana, please read this box. Uh, just the first and the second. The uh, we use? Yes, right here. Okay. Okay, and here. Okay. We use the present continuous to talk about uh, arrangements for events at trying a little not know. Okay. For events at a time later than now. Okay, so it means in a near, a really near future. Okay, un futuro muy, muy cercano, right? In a time later than now. So continue, please, Roxanne. Okay, a structure subject must bear uh -huh. me, must main bear German. Must complement. Complement. Okay. We read this like this. Look, subject plus. This is plus. ¿Cómo se dice más? Plus. Plus. Okay. Plus. Uh -huh. Verb. Subject plus verb. Plus my verb. Zero. Okay. Plus. plus Complement. 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 Okay. Continue. No, no, right there. Thank you very much, Roxanne. Gerund. Gerund is the noun or is the how we know the ing verb form. Okay. Los gerundios. Okay. Gerund are gerunds are the verbs in the ing verb form so let me read this i am oh. meeting the interns tomorrow okay i am meeting the interns tomorrow when oh. i'm sorry how to say entre parentheses uh it says in brackets okay in brackets 
but in brackets. Don't pronounce in, in brackets. like that. Brackets, como como la conoce. B -R, I'm sorry. B R A C K E T S. Brackets. Okay, but you, you can also it. use in parentheses. In parentheses. Okay. Okay. We say parenthesis porque lleva TH en la escritura. Okay, parenthesis. Parenthesis. Yeah. Yes, parenthesis. Okay, guys. So when does this action take place? When does this action take place? When? I am tomorrow. Letting, okay, great. Tomorrow. That's our future time expression, right? Let's uh, see the other example. It says, this is a little conversation because it's just a question and an answer, okay? So I'm going to read the question and you, everybody please open your mics and say the answer. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She's in the living room at 5 p.m. Okay, great. She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. A ver, todos abran su micrófono y todos van a contestarla, okay? What time is Maria interviewing the people? She is in the Bible and at 5 p.m. Excellent. So, and uh, I am writing the report next week. Nice. nice. I, 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 I am saying this as you finish. Excellent. So this person is just waiting for you to finish the report, right? Or for me to finish the report. And in this case, they are talking about next week, right? Next week. And when this person finishes, then this other person is going to send, right? Is sending the report. Okay, guys, we have only five minutes. So let's look at this. And scramble the following words to create sentences. Okay, and scramble the following words to create sentences. Let's see the first example. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Estaban desordenadas y las ordenamos. Okay, number two. What do you think does it say? Is smart um, sending the letters the next week. Remember, affirmative. ¿Cómo hacemos una oración? Vamos a ver la estructura. Let's go to the structure. Subject. Verb B, main verb in gerund, plus the, the complement, okay? That's the structure. So let's go here. What's the subject? Mark. Mark. Okay, Mark. then there is where we start, okay? Mark. Is. Is. Okay, great. Verb B. Sending. Sending. Mm -hmm. The letter. The letter. The next week. The next week. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see number Teacher. three. Mm -hmm. Tell me. También podríamos poner the next week en el principio de la oración. Yes, of course, you can use the time expression at the beginning. But in that case, you have to use a comma to separate, okay? The next week, comma, Mark is sending the letters, okay? 
Okay. Okay, great. Number three. Jane. Jane. Is our uh, work. Jane. Jane is, is working. working. Okay, on, on the red board tonight. Airport tonight. There you are. Here we go. Number four. Walter. Walter is sending. Sending the checks. The checks today. today. Uh, otra vez, díganme el verbo en ing. Signing. Aha, uh -huh, correct pronunciation. Signing, signing. Signing. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. they check. Mm -hmm. Today. Okay, it could be later today, right? So there they are. Next one, number five. Marina is. Marina is organizing, organizing, organizing the, presentation the presentation in the afternoon. Marina is organizing. Okay, here we go. And number six. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. The bank tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, Guillermo. Verb to be. ING verb form. Going to tomorrow. Excellent. Okay. Y como decíamos, claro que puede ir al principio la expresión de tiempo, ¿verdad? En este caso, tal vez si ponemos tomorrow Guillermo is going to the bank, solamente si lo escribimos, hacemos la coma, ¿verdad? Tomorrow Guillermo is going to the bank. Ok. Do you have any question about the content? We study it tonight. Is there anyone who has an a question? No questions. No questions? No teacher. Okay, great. So and remember to do your homework. I'm going to erase all the legals here. Remember to do your homework. Eh, tengo algunos y este, por favor tomen en cuenta que no subieron el examen. Um, cuando no suben el examen, acuérdense que cualquier cosita que sea de, en este caso irresponsabilidad, ¿verdad? Porque pues es un requerimiento. Eh, si no se cumple para el próximo curso, eh, probablemente de ver que no van cumpliendo con tiempos y con asistencia y cumpliendo con la participación y todo eso, eh, ya no los van tomando en cuenta. Así que, por favor, yo quiero animarlos. Yo no quiero que se me quede nadie. Quiero que todos, todos volvamos, ¿verdad? En el módulo 3 y que lleguemos con el nivel que se requiere, ¿verdad? Así que, por favor, los que no han hecho, eh, hay tres que no han hecho el eh, examen intermedio, por favor, súbanlo el día de hoy. Eso era ayer, hay una fecha límite, ¿verdad? Entonces, todavía hoy, ¿verdad? Eh, lo puede subir, por favor. Bien. Quedamos hasta ahí y, ah, perdón. Yo he hecho varios ejercicios, este, no sé cómo ver si 
el examen donde este es, está lo es, lo exactamente no está exactamente al final de la sección 2 cuando usted pone course está en inglés o está en español su sistema um, en inglés ok it's a course course arriba en la barra de menú dice course midterms for for question correct ok Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. Eh, teacher, pero me gustaría también de que siempre este, eh, también avisar quienes no lo han hecho para saber si uno ya ha probado porque no usualmente si... usualmente lo que yo hago es enviarle un mens enviarles un mensaje. Pero ah, ayer, eh, sí, lo único que no lo haya hecho. Exactamente, pero primero, por respeto y porque pues es una cuestión personal, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Yo se los mando primero en el grupo y después okay. si no veo una respuesta, entonces la respuesta para mí es que lo haga, ¿verdad? Sí. Si no veo una respuesta, entonces trato de comunicarme con el participante por medio no. de mensaje de WhatsApp. Lo único no. que yo les sugiero que estén pendientes del grupo de WhatsApp porque para eso lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Para sí, sí, sí. recordar fechas, para recordar situaciones, para compartirnos materiales. Si ustedes tienen un material que encuentran acerca del tema y lo quieren compartir, ok, bienvenido es. Para eso es el grupo, para interactuar. ¿Verdad? Y que no perdamos el hilo de lo que estamos tratando acá. Eh, como les repito, mi, mi objetivo es que ustedes aprendan. Y el objetivo de InstaCorp es que ustedes logren desarrollarse en su área de trabajo utilizando este idioma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo con todo gusto, yo estoy disponible en el WhatsApp. Ustedes me hacen preguntas, me solicitan alguna situación, me preguntan que si en la plataforma alguna pregunta no les está dando la respuesta, no los marca como correcto y usted está seguro que está correcto. O sea, todas esas cosas, por favor, en el grupo, díganmelo. O aquí en la videoconferencia, usted me expresa si ha tenido alguna dificultad en la plataforma y eso, tengan confianza con su teacher, su teacher está para ayudarlos, apoyarlos ok, porque lo que queremos es que todos aprendan este es un curso presencial ok, este es un curso eh, que lo hacemos virtual, pero no quiere decir que es a, a distancia ok, este es un curso todavía más eh, demandante en el sentido de que yo estoy disponible para ustedes en el momento que me necesitan, ¿verdad? Si yo no puedo, obviamente ustedes esperen un ratito, ¿verdad? Pero yo les pongo ahí, permítame un momento y yo con gusto, ¿verdad? Pero así nos ha tocado a todos los maestros. Aquí hay varios maestros y pueden eh, darse, eh, dar fe de que así toca, ¿verdad? Ahora con las clases virtuales, porque no estamos en, eh, eh, perdemos la interacción, ¿verdad? Entre personas. Entonces, por favor, yo con todo cariño eh, les pido que cumplamos con los requerimientos de Insaport. Si los okay. ha olvidado, por favor, revísenlos. Revísenlos en el primer video del curso, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes vean fechas, si han olvidado fechas, eh, qué es lo que utilizamos, cuáles son los requerimientos que se esperan de usted y qué es lo que Insaport le ofrece a usted, ¿verdad? Ok, ya nos pasamos bastante tiempo. Este, ya llevamos seis minutos más según este reloj. Así que permítanme, por favor, porque el día de hoy eh, no he pasado la lista de final. Ok, entonces déjenme pasar la lista al final. Eh, Alba y Anet López Ábalos. Present. Precia Gemima Pérez Ideos. Present. David Alejandro Choto Martínez. Present. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Present. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Eva Leticia Contreras Argueta. And Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. 
Ok, Juan Diego López Palacios. <coughs> Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher. Mayra Yanir Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Melida Isabel Bonilla Ventura. Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Ok, thank you Pablo for your text message. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Vi que tenía problemas y que se desconectaba bastante Patricia. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok. Ok, people. Uh, el día de hoy le toca a Linda. Ok. Linda, Alicia. ¿Se va a quedar, Linda? Sí. Ok, done. Have a good night, everyone, and let us meet tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Okay, Linda, here we are. Do you have questions? Ay, more question. Ahora casi no me, no me funcionaba. Okay, tell me, how can I help you? What is your question? Eh, no me quedó muy claro lo cuando se usa el ING. Es cuando está o cuando va a hacer las cosas, digamos, después. Sí, es que tiene varios usos. Tiene do, en este caso, yo hablé de dos usos. El uso de cuando usted está haciendo algo en el momento que está hablando, ¿verdad? For example, right now, I'm explaining you the answer, ¿ok? O eh, puede ser, you are asking a question right this moment, ¿ok? Ese es uno de los usos. Se puede usar en las dos maneras. La otra forma es usarlo para decir una actividad que usted va a realizar más tarde de ahorita. Digamos, por ejemplo, I am having dinner after the class. Ok. I am having dinner after the class. Entonces ahí ya estoy diciendo que lo voy a hacer. Nomás termine esto, yo sigo con lo otro, ¿verdad? Es como en un futuro cercano y que sí va a suceder. Ok. Y si yo digo I have dinner, entonces sería como que lo estoy haciendo. No, no, no. I have dinner es como un hábito o como que lo hace todo el tiempo, ¿ok? O mm -hmm. también como en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Las cosas que se hacen cada día para describir actividades, ¿ok? Uh, por ejemplo, si usted dice I have dinner after the class, quiere decir que no solo hoy, sino que mañana, pasado, ayer también, o sea, todo el tiempo usted come después de la clase, no antes, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I am having dinner after the class today, right? Tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. Tonight, but later, later, because right now I'm in the class. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Entonces, es para un futuro cercano, pero que sí va a suceder. ¿Ok? Mm, ya, ya ahora sí ya. ¿Ok? Sí, porque no, no mucho le estaba entendiendo eso, pero ahora sí ya. Ok, entonces lo que usted tiene que fijarse es, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Según el contexto de lo que están hablando, porque si yo estoy hablando after the class, esa frasecita after me está diciendo que es después de que suceda algo. Entonces no es ahorita, ¿verdad? No que es después. Ah, entonces está hablando de un futuro. Pero si yo le digo, I am having dinner right now. Ah, entonces lo estoy haciendo en el momento que estoy hablando. Ok, en el momento que estoy en la clase. Right? I'm having dinner. Uh, por ejemplo, I'm having dinner in English class. Ok, ahí lo estoy haciendo ahorita. Yeah. Es, lo estoy realizando en el momento que estoy en la clase. Dos cosas al mismo tiempo, por decir así, ¿verdad? en ese momento. 
Pero igual cuando lo dice, cuando lo está haciendo, tiene que decir como que, que lo está haciendo en la clase, lo está haciendo ahora. O... No necesariamente, sino que con el contexto, ¿verdad? Con el contexto usted va a ubicarse, puede usar, eh, lo mejor para nosotros que estamos aprendiendo, para ustedes que están aprendiendo en este momento, es importante que usted lo diga así, de forma específica, para que ya su cerebro vaya como entendiéndolo, ¿verdad? Como fijándolo, fijándolo el conocimiento ese. Entonces, eh, lo mejor es que se fije en las, en las expresiones de tiempo. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya, ahora okay. sí. Si no, de acuerdo al contexto en que están hablando, usted se va a fijar. Ah, bueno, no está hablando de ahorita, porque me dijo que es la otra semana, next week. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, y si sigue hablando de lo mismo, entonces, ah, no, si no era ahorita, entonces, entonces next uh -huh. week. Ajá, uh -huh. como con el contexto, pues. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Ahí, ahí ya uno va poniendo que si se agrega, sí. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. The future time expressions son, utilizando la palabra next, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Next week. Uh, next year, next um, month, next um, weekend, ok. Pero para decir mañana, ¿verdad? para el día siguiente, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? no decimos next day next en day. una time expression. Uh -huh. Pero sí, cuando usted está leyendo algo, usted va a encontrar, por ejemplo, the next day. Cuando está contando algo, ¿ve? ahí dice, uh -huh. ah, el siguiente día, right? the next day. Pero no es solo next day, sino que the next day. Okay? Ahí ya cambia un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero realmente next day es tomorrow. <risa> tomorrow, uh -huh. ajá. Sería más como, no sé, correcto decir tomorrow en vez de exactly, next day. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. Ajá. Solo cuando cuento una historia, entonces sí, ¿verdad? Y entonces, uh -huh. fíjate que el siguiente día, right, ahí sí. Ah, uh -huh. ya. Yeah. Pero yeah. no lo usamos acá en future expressions, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Is there any other question that you want to solve? Uh, no, creo que, que sí me está quedando. La verdad, le voy a ser sincera, creo que me está quedando más claro ahorita que pues sí, estoy como que con juegos, así como lo hace, como que le estoy entendiendo más, que está diciendo como la estructura cabal de cómo es la oración, okay. para que después una la pueda hacer, entonces sí le estoy entendiendo bastante. Okay. Solo, solo cuando a veces me, me, me dificulta conectarme o algo es que ahí me pierdo como el hilo, entonces pero... Ok, ok. ¿Se siente bien en la clase? Sí, sí, la verdad sí. Ok. Mi objetivo pues es que usted aprenda y el, este tiempo es para que usted resuelva sus dudas, ¿verdad? Si tiene otra pregunta más adelante o está haciendo alguna tarea de la, de la plataforma o algo y necesita resolverla, entonces usted en el WhatsApp me pone en el, en el grupo, ¿verdad? Me pone la pregunta y no hay problema, ahí yo le contesto también. Okay. Ah, ok, ok. Muchas gracias. Bueno, con gusto, con gusto, Linda. Ok, then, let us meet tomorrow, ok, and have a good night. <laughs> good night. Ok, good night. Bye, bye, Linda. Bye.